it's James here from Dark Arts Lockpicking. Hope you're doing well. Please watch some hacking, but as always, remember to keep it bloody legal. So, I, as you know, the last 12 months has been kind of difficult. <laughs> um, been in hospital more times than my, the last couple of months than I have in my whole life. Um, but now I've got to go see a gastro specialist. So, the biopsies come back from the ones they took when they did the camera. And it's still ulcerative colitis, but it is severe ulcerative colitis. So the, I had a phone call the other day. Um, the specialist wants to see me as soon as possible, so I've got to go and see him next Thursday. Um, which is good. I can get that sorted, get that managed treatments, and start getting back to normal health. But you're probably wondering why, well, some of you that don't follow me on Instagram or on Facebook. Uh, might be wondering why I'm on crutches. Because I am bloody awesome and broke my ankle. <laughs> so I'm in a cast, which I'll show you. So I'll <coughs> try and get my camera to come down so you can actually see. Yep, oh, I'm knocking stuff everywhere. Um, I will put the video up of what happened. Um, I actually slowed it down. So you can kind of see. Yeah, I'm in a cast and will be for like the next six weeks, um, maybe longer, it depends, they're not sure if I need surgery yet, um, but anyway, so I thought we'd go for a walk with the kids, take them up to the lake just down the road here, we did like two laps of the lake so I normally walk there, um, as you know, getting back into shape and everything to try and help my stomach and exercising, and um... I said to my we'll go for a walk around the lake. So we walked down there, we did two laps of the lake. And then they said, oh, can we go up to the playground? I said, yeah, no problems. We'll go up there and have a go, have a play. So we go up to the playground and they got a flying fox there. So the girls raced and stuff like that. And I said to Aiden, I'm like, oh, we'll have a race. Come on, I'll race you. So first time I went down, I was laughing so hard that, yeah, when I stopped, I fell off. Um, on my back, which, you know, I didn't do anything. Um, we were just laughing and, and stuff like that, so I lost my grip. But then we decided to race again, and I went flat out, holding on to it. Didn't have my legs wrapped around it, um, or sitting on it, kind of thing. I was just holding on. And going up in the air, and I lost grip. Like, I, my arms just let go, my hands just let go, and I hit the ground. So 90 kilo I hit the ground pretty fast. Straight into my ankle, and I heard the snap, and so did all three kids. That's how loud it was. My ankle just snapped, um, and was instantly three times the size it's meant to be. So I started laughing as loud as I could because when I start, if I'm, you know, if it's not something that's funny, and I start laughing due to pain. You know it's bad, like it's really bad. Um, and even Aiden, she's like, oh my god, this isn't good if he's laughing this much at it. Um, and yeah, my ankle was actually sticking out one side. So I'm like, oh, I've either broken it or I've dislocated it or I've done both. Um, with a loud snap, like even the girls, like all the kids heard the snap. That's how loud it was. Um, and it was instant pain. It took me about five, six minutes to try and get myself up off the ground. And because the lake is only a K away from where we live, we walked there. So we had to walk back home so I can get in the car and go up to the hospital. So <laughs> I got about 500 or half a K up the road. And one of our neighbours, two doors down, saw us. And he goes, oh, do you need a lift, James? I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. He goes, oh, you don't look right. He goes, you're not walking right. What have you done? I said, I'll lift, try to lift up my um, jeans. And he saw my ankle and he goes, oh, yeah, no, that's not good. And I said, yeah, it's all right. I said, I've got crutches at home from when I busted my knee. Well, go, just drop me off home if you can with the kids and I'll go up to the hospital. So I go up to the hospital and they took one look at it and went, oh, yeah, no, nah, that's not right. Because it was literally like swollen, sickening out something shocking. And black. So <laughs> go for x-rays and, yeah, I have fractured the tibia, right at the bottom of the tibia. Um... Right next to the tendon. It's actually where the tendon connects, the x-ray lady said. So uh, she goes, well, it might be not as bad as you think. Um, she goes with the broken bit. It's not dislocated. She goes, it is fractured. 
So, well, next time I do, I better do a better job then. <laughs> so, they're not sure if I need surgery yet. Um, the it's Where it's snapped is right where the tendon is, so I might need surgery. They're not sure. I couldn't really see on the x-ray that um, anything else. But the amount of pain I've been in, I've broken a lot of bones. This is actually more pain than any other one I've had. Um... Like, it's really bad. I can't put any pressure on that foot at all. And it's not just the side that's fractured that's hurting anymore. The other side is hurting me as well as the back of my heel, like in the back section. So, more than likely, I've done damage to the tendons. Um, they gave me... When I saw the doctor, they gave me painkillers, which didn't work at all. Um, so, I've been taking them. And he said one tablet, I've been taking two. Um, and even that's not touching the pain. The only thing that kind of works is in the mornings when I take my Lyrica, which is for nerve damage in my shoulder. Um, I'm on the maximum dosage for that. And when I take that, it also helps my ankle. So there might be nerve damage done in my ankle as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be off work for six weeks, which really sucks. Because I, um, I've used up all my holiday hours with the kids for the Christmas holidays here. So I have no holiday hours. I'm going to be in a cast for six weeks. I don't have that much sick pay, so I'm going to be buggered because I have no money coming in, pretty much, because that's what pays for everything. Um, so I'll still be doing orders. I'll still be doing work and stuff like that. Um, so any orders that come in now will be greatly appreciated, uh, just to try and help with things because, yeah, I can't work at my normal job. Um, they're hoping they can get me something, maybe, but we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, I'll be smashing products out if people want to order stuff, um, that'll greatly help. I don't normally ask for help and stuff like that, but at the moment I'm kind of stuck, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, just wanted to give you a heads up and let you know what's going on. I'll put the video of what happened at the end and the photo of the x-ray and the photo of my ankle about, well, after half the swelling went down, um, I managed to snap a photo of it. Uh, but... Yeah, now to go and see the fracture clinic, wait for them to call me to find out what damage is done. They'll probably send me for like a CT scan or something to check the tendons and everything else to make sure there's no other damage, which by the feels of it, there is. Um, and to top it off, I had to go and hire a knee scooter, one of the ones you put your knee on and push the stuff around on so I can actually get around shops because these are killing me. Um, and stuff like that. So my son thought it'd be funny to uh, walk behind me playing Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift while I'm scooting around on this scooter. Um, so yeah, anyway, since I'm going to be off work, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of content. I'm going to do some stuff for the flippers and the RF boosters, which are now available on the website as well. Um, and a lot of really cool stuff. Hopefully get Daryl, we'll do another video together, um, a chat. I might even try and get James uh, on there as well, uh, James Randolph, who's uh, one of the admins of the DAOP Discord server, the private Discord server that we run. Um, so, yeah, awesome, awesome content coming out. Um, check out the video that I'm going to put up next where I actually slow it down. It doesn't look that bad. Like, the video itself doesn't look too bad, um, the full, but I actually sent the real video because, yeah, I managed to get it on video. Um, <laughs> Because I said to my daughter, well, quick record us, you know, for a bit of fun. So put it up on Snapchat. And, um, yeah, she got it on video, which is bloody awesome. Uh, and I sent it to a friend of mine, and then she goes, okay, I can actually hear the snap of the video. Um, <laughs> that's how loud it was. So, yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll play the slow down one so you can kind of see. Um, it wasn't good. Like, it was instant pain and then trying to walk on it with falling over, holding onto a big stick, trying to keep my balance and, yeah, go half a K up the road <laughs> with a broken ankle. Yeah, I'm crazy. So, anyway, check out the links in the description down below. Don't forget to check out the website, theup.com.au. If you purchase some stuff on there, it would be greatly appreciated at the moment, especially over the next couple of weeks because I can't really work that much for my other job. Um, and, yeah, there'll be plenty of content coming out. So, as always... Remember to keep bloody legal, stay safe, and until next time, cheers guys, and uh, don't get breaking ankles, so I highly recommend it, because it sucks, big time. Now I'll just try to turn the video off. <laughs>
yeah, everything is like 10 times more difficult if I don't fall over.